So welcome back everyone, Triple M here, and this video is for Netflix subscribers. So if you're a Netflix subscriber, you might not know that there are settings that you've probably never heard of. These are hidden settings that not only improves your browsing experience, but gives you new content, fresh content to watch. In this video, we're gonna go over seven settings that you probably never heard of or tried out with Netflix. That's worth checking out. So before we jump into it, head over to the channel, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. The first setting, and this is just to improve your ability to do a better search. So a lot of people, when they want to find out what's on Netflix, they'll go to Google, they'll type best Netflix episodes or uh, what to watch on Netflix. But there's an easy way to actually search for that inside the Netflix application. So in order to browse or view all of Netflix original series, our top earning series, uh, all you need to do, guys, is go to your search area. And we're just going to type in Netflix. So just one search with Netflix, you can see the top series that has ever been released by Netflix. And up top, you can see some of the related search terms. So you can see uh, collection only on Netflix, Netflix versus the world. But you can see Money Heist, which is a top grocer, Squid Game. You guys probably heard of it. Ozarks, uh, Red Notice. The U is another one that's pretty big. And you can go through and see the top grossing and most popular Netflix uh, series, uh, movies that's ever been released. So this will work on your mobile device, your web browser, your tablet, whatever the case is. But also, if you're someone that's looking for 4K HDR, you can go ahead and search the same thing. Type in 4K HDR. So you can see the content there that's available in 4K. It's just, just a lot of different options, guys. So uh, with Netflix search, I found out that the best thing is to be as specific as possible, and it will bring up what you're looking for. So tip number two, and I've done a whole video on this, and I'll go ahead and link it in the description where you can go ahead and check it out, is to use codes or hidden codes, secret codes, to find content on Netflix. So you guys might not be aware that Netflix uh, does have a search option where you can just put in codes and it can bring different categories for you. And this comes in handy whether you're not sure what to watch, you're looking for a specific genre that you can't find during the search. All you need to do is put in these codes and it will bring up contests. For example, if you want to take a look at Westerns, you type 7700. And you can see a ton of country western uh, movies pop up. Uh, same thing if you just wanted to watch Adventure 7442. All right, so Adventure's there. And uh, I know this is a popular one uh, for anime fans out there. If you type in 7424, you can see you have a ton of anime here. There are hundreds of codes, guys. Can't really cover that in this video. But definitely check out that video that I did on secret Netflix codes. And this also works for your mobile device. I know uh, in my a full video on this, a couple people overseas uh, were not able to search. So if you're overseas and uh, not able or you are able to search, definitely drop your experience in the comment section. Now tip number four is to control your Netflix using your shortcuts on your keyboard. So for people that watch a lot of Netflix on their computer, for example, to adjust your volume on your Netflix, all you need to do is push the up and the down arrow, and that should essentially turn your stream up or turn your stream down. Now, same thing for fast forward and rewind. If you hit the right arrow, you will fast forward. The left arrow, you will rewind. The M button on your remote will mute your Netflix sound. To pause your stream, you press your space bar on your keyboard. To view the full screen, simply hit the F on your keyboard, exit full screen, use the escape button, and it should minimize that stream. So those are some basic buttons those, uh, some of those controls will work essentially on any streaming service or streaming platform that you use. So those are really handy when viewing content on your computer. So hidden setting number four, tip number four is to adjust your data usage. For some people, they have unlimited internet and unlimited data, and this really doesn't matter that much. But for the people with data caps that are on plans or don't have enough bandwidth, this might come in handy. So on your Netflix account on your smartphone, when you click on your profile icon, then you go into your app settings. So on the app setting, there's a couple options you can change. So on the cell data usage, you can set it to Wi-Fi only, save data. If you turn that off, you do have the option to um, choose maximum data, save data, or Wi-Fi only. And that will essentially uh, disable the option to stream while you're on your mobile network. Uh, you do have notifications options, but uh, on the downloads, they have the Wi-Fi only option as well. And with that, 
exactly how it sounded. It allows you, Netflix allows you to download data, take it on the road with you, but if you only wanna be able to download while you're on Wi-Fi, you need to turn this on. Uh, for me, I have unlimited phone data, so I'll go ahead and turn it off. You do have smart downloads, when you click on that, so as you watch episodes, the series you've downloaded, will get the next season for you and delete what you finished watching. So uh, that's a cool option. Now you can do something similar while in your web browser, guys. If you click on your profile, you're gonna go to your account settings, then we're gonna click on the profile that you wanna work with. So I'm gonna click on my profile and below that you will have your playback settings. So click on change. All right, again, it gives you a couple options. So data usage per person, I can adjust that. I have it at auto, you can put it to low, put it to medium, you can also put it to high. So I'm not gonna dive too much into it. It is gonna be personal preference. It, it is gonna depend on who you're trying to restrict and just how your overall Netflix is set up. So the next tip or trick or hidden features is to actually have a voiceover option on your Netflix series. So this is one of the lesser known features, which can be beneficial if you're visually impaired. Um, when you activate voiceover, it gives you a description of what's happening on the screen during a show or movie. A, a voice will describe the facial expression, clothing, uh, scenario, physical movements, and other elements as they may happen. So Netflix says that uh, this is enabled most of its uh, original series and it works with other titles on the platform. So to turn it on, begin playing a video. Let me go ahead and we'll try. So to turn it on, we'll begin playing one of those uh, videos. Um, probably preferably one of the original Netflix series. So to turn it on, pretty straightforward, it might be different depending on your location and which series you're watching. So you go to the, the icon right here, the subtitle icon, you can see the audio set to English, which it does have different languages that you can set it to. These are for the subtitles, I'll go ahead and turn those off. Uh, but what we're looking at is right here where it says audio description. So if I turn this on guys, um, it'll still play the movie, but what I hear is, Forever. The scenes overlap. Lightning flashes. Next, Dion lands in water and splashes his mom. <laughs> but what I hear is a description of what's actually happening. So the next setting is to change your subtitle experience. I know uh, that I like to have my subtitles going and um, sometimes maybe I'm doing something and I'll peek up and I, I kind of read what's going on. But also if you're hearing impaired, you might want to just have it on all the time. So so for the subtitles, you can change what it looks like, uh, how it's laid out. And uh, to get to that setting, you're gonna go to your profile again, right? You're gonna go to your profile. Scroll down, you'll see subtitle appearances. If you change that, you can see you have a lot of different options, guys. You, and it gives you a preview up top. So you can put um, typewriter, you can do block, small, and you can kind of see where it changes there. Do have the option to add your, your shadows, which uh, just gives you, so you do have uh, race shadows there, depressed, uniform. You also have color options, guys. So change the color of the text. You can also change the color of the shadow if you choose the shadow. Um, so just a lot of different options there just to play with the subtitles. Uh, if you don't like what you're seeing or you get confused, you can hit reset and we'll go ahead and just put it back. And uh, from there, you can go back in and just play with it some more. So like I said, this is a great way to uh, customize uh, your subtitles what you're looking at, how your subtitle reads out, just to make your account stand out from everyone else's. So the next option, uh, secret tip or trick, is to check your bitrate stats. Now, um, this gives you a stats for nerds type feel. I don't know if you guys ever been on YouTube and uh, go to stats for nerds, it'll kind of tell you what's going on in the background, just to give you more information on what's going on with your stream. So this will work on your computer, obviously, with a series of keyboard shortcuts, which I'm gonna tell you in a little bit. Uh, some smart TV models, it might work, uh, but you'll need the, a remote with the info button. So if you're on Roku, what you need to do is choose a show or film uh, before pressing uh, play and hit the asterisk button twice. And uh, to cancel it, just uh, click twice again to disable it. So on the computer, guys, what you need to do is have something plain or paused, and I'll scroll up just to avoid any issues. On the computer, what you need to press is four keys, guys. You're gonna need uh, Shift, Control, Alt, and D. And once you press that, you can see a bunch of information pops up on your screen, the version, your 
uh, ESN, which I'll probably blur out, duration, your volume, uh, your bit rate is shown here, your, your resolution as well. Below that, you have your frame rate, your total frames, your drop frame. So a lot of useful information that can be handy, especially if you're experiencing issues, you can kind of go here and say, oh, I'm dropping frames, or oh, uh, this is my resolution. And this can confirm uh, what you're viewing, how you're viewing it, and, and if you're taking advantage of your Netflix. So that was it guys, uh, seven hidden tips or trick on Netflix that most people don't know about. I know I didn't know about a lot of them. If you guys have uh, any additional tips or trick that I might have missed out, drop it in the comments. I'll probably do a future video just highlighting those uh, features. Uh, always, if you have any experiences, anything to share, please comment, hit the thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.